Hi, my name is Caitlin Sara, and I'm a junior at Lahaina Luna High School. I'm reading this letter on behalf of Aaron De La Cruz. There are those who believe the cultural area propose proposed to be built in Honolulu Bay by Maui Land and Pineapple is a benefit to our community. I will tell those people Honolulu Bay is a cultural area right now. If you truly want to develop and share our culture, help us bring this area back to life, bring back to the way it thrived before you diverted the streams, poisoned the land and water with chemical fertilizers and pesticides. For generations, we knew that the importance of taking care of the land as it was the land that took care of us. My family would fish and camp from Hanukkahau Valley all the way to what is pres presently called Kapula Bay. Now there are gates and resorts restricting acta access to this to native people. Honolulu Bay is one of our last untouched bays of the famous chief Pi'ilani. Why can't they just leave it alone? On paper, this undeveloped land is worthless to them. The money they make harvesting pineapples is not enough. They want billions. They cannot see the true value of the land because their eyes are blinded by dollar signs. Maui Land and Pineapple has explo exploited the indigenous people of this land, profiting off of our land's culture and heritage. However, when they, when they do so at the expense of future generations not being able to interact with the coastline, it's effect it effectively contributes to killing off our culture, and we must say that's wrong. They claim to care, but I don't buy it. How much can they really care about our community when they continue to push for development without making any significant impacts towards our infrastructure crisis? How much can they care when they threaten to bully us to stay off their property? Maui does not have an authentic history, but it does, but it is not the one they are selling. The history about our is about land, water, and power, and the destruction of beautiful, sustainable environment. Enough is enough already. We have enough condominiums, enough resorts, golf courses, and luxu luxurious homes. We do not need any more. However, if you would like to build housing developments that are 100% ec ecologically sustainable and affordable, we do have a dire need for that. If you would like to build an urgent care and trauma center to benefit those on the west side, we have a dire need for that too. If you'd like to improve our outdated, overtaxed sewer system, no time would be better. Other than that, keep any development plans for Honolulu Bay out of our general community plan, please. Instead of Maui Land and Pineapple's solution, we want resolution number 07128 to be the, the community's solution. Thank you. What's up? My name is Joey Ventura. I'm Nick Falvo. Well, when I was small, I, I loved the ocean. And since I like to bodyboard, I thought like the bay was the best spot, and I set a goal for myself. Yeah, I was gonna be like pro bodyboarder one day. So yeah, first I gotta do it deal with school. So every time after homework and there's waves up north, straight to the bay, bro. So sick. <laughs> bro, the battles is mean. So I just say you guys shouldn't like build stuff up there, cause gotta be straight up local. That's all. For me, I think we shouldn't develop because I surf there every day. Me and Joey, we try and get there as much as we can during the winter time. Um, we just don't want to see it develop and have them put gates up so that we can't surf there and stuff. And that will just ruin the best surf spot on the west side. So thank you. My name is Josette Mendez. I also go to Lahaina Luna. And I am a freshman at Lahaina Luna. I moved here about two years ago and not I have not been to Honolulu Bay but seeing as how many people have come to testify and feel what they are feeling about how they feel about the bay it really gets to you and it just makes me feel like I want to be a part of it and want to learn about Maui someone testified earlier that it might become like the mainland and I came from the mainland, and to be here on an island where I feel safe and secure, it just means the world to me. And I love Maui to death, and I just don't want to see a golf course on one of the bays that people feel like that's their own backyard. 
because we all know what it's like when people go on your backyard and you don't want them there. So please don't build on the bay because it just affects a lot of people, as you can see, that came here today to come up and step for it. Hi, my name is Zuta Belenar. Um, I'm testifying because I live at Honolulu Bay. Um, for all kinds, I don't like to see like concrete and golf course because that's kind of ugly. Like, yeah. And, and I don't want Maui to become like the mainland, like she said, like big hotels and stuff, like Hilton's or something like that. So just don't like build like the mainland. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Major Okana. And, and my name is Carlton Lucas. And um, I don't think they should build golf courses at Honolulu Bay because people don't come here to play golf. You can go play golf anywhere in the world. They come here to see the beauty of the island and it's beautiful out there. So I don't think they should build a golf course over there. I think that they shouldn't build at Honolulu Bay because it's like the best spot to go beach and we don't need any houses and golf courses on top of the land that just needs to stay by itself. Cause that's how it was grown over here. And um, you guys, if you guys build up there, you guys are gonna pollute the reef and kill the animals in the water. And we're not gonna get to go over there because you're gonna have traffic and people don't want traffic going up that way because it's just one road going up and down. And we don't want a six road lane road up there for the houses to come, for people to go up. And we got enough houses around here, so yeah. Mm -hmm. The houses they're gonna build up there, me or anybody I know could, couldn't afford it, so what's the point? We need houses that we can afford the community. Yeah.